well, it's like they're throwing P. Diddy to the wolves, and, and he's evil, but Clive Davis is the guy who put him in power, and if P. Diddy's gone, they'll get another guy in power that'll do the same thing or worse. Right. It makes you think, what did P. Diddy actually do on the Illuminati level? Because well, it's like everybody was doing it. Company. It's like everybody's he's doing it. It's what? Sorry. He got, he got, uh, he got a little big for his britches, and he, he sued that liquor company, and they, they, they said, okay, we're going to put this guy back in his place. Right. He, didn't, he, he, stepped, he overstepped his boundaries. They gave him, they gave him a half billion dollars, but he, he, it wasn't enough. He wanted to be a big shot. But right. What amazes me is they created an industry. They call it music. They can't even play instruments. <laughs> they shove it down America's throat, and for the last thirty years, people have been buying what this P Diddy puts out. I don't. This is not about to turn into know. a rap bashing <laughs> segment, Joe. Is it? Is that what you're saying? Rap is is the is the problem. I mean, if you think about it, you know. R- like so AC D- ACDC vehicle. was that's the gangster vehicle. music. It was a vehicle to manipulate the uneducated to get their money. You could say the same thing about, you know, the hippie movements and the, the rock and roll bands of the eighties. You could say the same thing. What do you what do you think you know ACDC's talking about when they're talking about nine lies, cat's eyes, abusing every woman? You know, I'm I'm just saying, like that's gangster but, rap yeah, music I, I of the eighties. Play the instruments. In the oh album. my God! Where now we have a computer, and they just drag it down to profanity and the N word and the lowest common denominator, and sell it to the public, where it just has no value except negative connotations. What about Taylor oh, Swift? What about what? What about her, though? I mean, her. I would say no. I would. I, well, I would say that the messages to I guess you could say the black community in rap music is just as damaging as the messages in in country music to the white community. It's just playing a different emotion. The white man's a little more emotional. So it's all about getting drunk and well, the country, go ahead. It's the same. They have these, they have these bands, the the session players and they play the same chord chord progressions and they play the pretty much the same melodies and they sing about the same dirt road and the girl in her jeans and drinking beer. Right, drinking beer, missing a girl, so it, it, it leads it to depression. Normal. And the public buy, the public loves these people. Right. The All- public worship, America worships, America worships celebrities. It's a, it's a celebrity-driven society. Did you mention it's a worship. Did I miss you said something there? About what? Like Taylor Swift, she's just a little better than average. Well, no, I was Just more speaking singer, towards her message. See, I would an say average singer go ahead. with average songwriting abilities, but the machine the machine gets behind her and hypes her up and she's the biggest star in the world. When if you break down the music, it's really nothing special. Well, I think it's nothing very impactful. There. I, I think what? it I think it's very impactful to the manipulation of the female society, which is the ultimate lure of human mankind. You know, she's got okay. one song she's got one song where she says we're never getting back together, and then another song that says we're never going out of style. You know, so it's like it causes this emotional undecisiveness turmoil within the female community, which is leading the the males in multiple different directions and fucking up the emotional side of society. It's a, it's a very you good scheme. You only get led if you're weak enough to be led. Oh, well, tell me what alcohol makes you. Tell me what everything that society pushes onto you makes you. It makes you weak. Whether that's with alcohol, drugs, materialism, big houses, nice trucks, they're all a form it's of weakness. Great. It's great. I love it. Okay, well then great. 